Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your existing AMD graphics card from your computer, including drivers, and replace it with a NVIDIA card, as some of you are probably doing right now. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to remove your existing AMD graphics card from your system and replace it with a NVIDIA card. Now, in this particular video, we'll be removing a Radeon RX 570 from our Windows 10 machine, removing it, removing all the software and drivers, and then replacing it with a GeForce card. In this particular instance, it's going to be the GTX 1650 Super, which is actually a very popular card. So I figured I'd make a video on this to show you how to do it and how to do it successfully without getting driver issues. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so on our Windows 10 PC, obviously depending on your version of Windows, this may differ slightly, but the principle is pretty much the same. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure we've got the drivers for our new graphics card. So go into Chrome, and if you're getting an NVIDIA driver, just type in nvidia.com and hit enter. Obviously, if you're doing this the opposite way around, you're going from NVIDIA to AMD, just reverse the process and go to amd.com. So what we want to do is get our latest drivers. So go to drivers and then GeForce drivers. And you can if you want to, you can do automatic driver updates, but we're going to do this manually just for the sake of uh, well, learning, basically. So choose your card. In our particular instance, it's a GeForce card. And the product series is a 16 series because it's a 1650 Super. And we'll change that to 1650 Super. To be honest with you, you don't really have to change that, but it can be helpful. So operating system, obviously choose your operating system. We're using Windows 10. This is uh, September 2020. So we're using Windows 10 version 2004. Obviously language wise, choose the language which is appropriate to you. So I'm gonna choose English UK and then click on start search. Once the system's reset, it will still show this weirdly. So you have to actually scroll down to get your driver results. So we're going to choose the GeForce Game Ready driver, which is the latest one. And again, this is September 2020, so there's one release on the 17th, so that's perfect. So click on Get Download, and then you'll be greeted by this screen, giving you the details of the driver. So click on Download Now. You can choose the location where you want to download it to. I generally tend to use my Downloads folder, but you can download this to wherever you want. As you can see, I've already downloaded this already to save a little bit of time, so in your particular instance, you want to click on save and wait for the download. I'm going to click on cancel because I've already got it. So once we've got our drivers downloaded, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. But hold your horses, don't go install it yet. We need to clear out the old system first. So again, open up your web browser if you haven't got it open already. So in your Google search bar, just type in DDU, which stands for Display Driver Uninstaller. Now, I generally get mine from Guru3D. If you've seen our videos before, you'll notice I always get them from there. But you can get it from pretty much wherever you want to. I'll put some links in the video description so you can get it nice and easily. But alternatively, just type in DDU. That should be absolutely fine. So we're going to the Guru3D.com site. And it gives you some information about it. So basically scroll down towards the bottom until you find your mirrors. Now we're in the UK, so I'll choose the United Kingdom mirror. Click on that one and it gives you all the information about the file. If you wait briefly, you should find that the download will start pretty much automatically. And there we go. And again, I'm going to put this into my downloads folder. It is a compressed file, so it shouldn't take too long. So just hit save. Once the file's finished downloading, you can click on the up arrow here and choose show in folder, or you can open up your explorer and just go to your downloads folder. So in our downloads folder, we can see here I've got our drivers already for the new graphics card, and we've also got the old one in there as well. But here is our zip file. So we want to right click on that and choose extract all, and just choose the same destination. And this will give you your folders. So in here now we've got the exe, which isn't actually a program. This is still a self-extracting archive. So what you want to do is click on this one, and then it'll say about extracting, again, Extract it to the same place, just to make life easy. And then you should have a new folder. Now at this point, I generally tend to delete the old folders, so delete the guru3d.com and the ddu file, which should just leave you with one folder. So now if we double click in that folder, we've got our settings, display driver and installer, etc. Readme license, which obviously you should, in theory, read through those, but for speed, we're not gonna do that today. So right click on the display driver and installer, 
and choose Run as Administrator. And you'll get the user account control, click on Yes. And then you'll get Display Driver Uninstaller pop-up and also your greeting. So as per usual, usual kind of things. Um, read through these, make sure you're all cool with it. Make a backup if you haven't already. Read the license, read me and Terms of Service. As it says, we're not responsible for any damage or loss of data of any kind. And we're always willing to help if there is a problem. So yeah, once you're happy with that, just click OK. And then we get our general options. So you can pretty much leave these as they are. There are additional options which you can choose if you need to. So like removing PhysX, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Some games do still rely on it. So even if you've got an AMD card, it still can use the PhysX kind of uh, APIs and protocols. Also, another thing you can do is you can uh, prevent downloads of drivers, etc. What we're going to do is, in this particular instance, we're just going to disconnect the internet. So unplug your LAN cable or disable your Wi-Fi, which generally you can do from your keyboard or just unplug the USB stick. But don't do that until we tell you to. So we'll click on Close and it'll come up with the information saying DDU has detected that you're not in safe mode. It generally does run better in safe mode if you want to run this in safe mode. Go over to the Windows Start bar, click on Start, and on the Power button, click on Power. And before you click on Shutdown, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard. Left or right Shift doesn't make a difference. And this will reboot the system into safe mode. Then you can follow the same process, find your folder, and start this up again. But I generally tend to like to do this actually in Windows mode. It seems to work quite well for me. But if you are still experiencing problems, maybe try giving this a go in safe mode. We'll click OK because we're going to carry on in Windows mode. Um, at the moment, we've got a AMD graphics card, so we'll go to our device type and we'll choose GPU, and it's automatically selected AMD. Obviously, if you're removing an NVIDIA card and you're installing an AMD card, then choose NVIDIA, but in our case, we're removing our AMD Radeon RX 570, and we're going to be installing an NVIDIA card. Now, you can actually go through and remove all these if you want to, just for safety's sake and just to remove any clutter. I have done that in a previous video, which you can check out in the links in the top right-hand corner now. But once you're happy, let's get on and remove our AMD driver. So select AMD, and what we're going to do on this particular instance, we're going to do clean and do not restart. But you can do clean and restart, which is highly recommended. But if you are swapping a graphics card, as we are, as per the title of the video, what you really should do is clean and shut down. So for not trying to confuse anybody, We'll go ahead and do that. So we'll do clean and shut down, and this is for installing a new graphics card. So click that button, and the system will do its own thing. And this is a pretty much standalone task. So you can just walk away, and once this is done, your PC will shut itself down, ready for the installation of the new driver. At this point, you can, if you want to, you can unplug your LAN cable or remove your Wi Fi adapter. But you can do this quite easily whilst you're actually taking out your graphics card. Either way, entirely up to you. So here is our computer. So we've got the RX 570, which is coming out. So first of all, turn off your power on the back of the PC on your switch. You can, if you want to, disconnect the power cable as well. And it's probably a good time now to actually remove our LAN cable. So disconnect the cable, which looks like this. Or if you're on Wi-Fi, just remove your Wi-Fi stick and put the cable to one side for now. The next thing to do is to take out the graphics card. So remove any power which is connected. So ours has only got a single 8-pin connector. So we'll just put that to one side for now because we'll be needing that shortly. And then on your graphics card, just remove any of the retaining screws. So we've got two. At this point, a magnetic screwdriver is very useful. So if you drop in your screws down into your power supply shroud. If you want to at this time, you can use an anti-static strip. Uh, that choice is entirely up to you. So that's our screws removed and the power removed. So now what we need to do is to disconnect the HDMI cable or any display cables at the back of your graphics card. And again, put this to one side because you'll be needing those very shortly. And then you should find underneath the graphics card or the retention slot, there should be a release tag, which is kind of hidden at the back there. So you may struggle to get this, but there is a retention arm or lever. So push that in and at the same time, just gently wiggle the card free and you should find it comes out relatively easy. If we go down a bit lower now, you can just about see the slot and there is our retention clip. 
which is there. That is the one that actually people struggle with. So yeah, make sure you've uh, left that in the open position or you won't be able to put your new graphics card back in. So now we're going to put our new graphics card in. So this is the Zotac 1650 Super. And all we do is just line it up with the PCI Express slot and also the rear retention section and just firmly but gently put the card in until it clicks into position and you should hear the retention clip fastening. Now, our next card has only got a six pin connector. So luckily our connection actually has a detachable. So all we need to do is to plug in a single connector on the back. Make sure that's secure and not gonna wiggle loose. And then we can replace the two screws that we took out for the graphics card. Again, magnetic screwdriver here is your friend. You can if you want to. At this point, make any adjustments to the height of the card. Look on the back of the system and make sure that your HDMI ports and all those kinds of things aren't blocked by any of the rear PCI Express covers. These screws don't have to be overly tight as long as they're secure. If you do over tighten them, you may find you shred the actual threads on the case, which you don't want to do. So that is pretty much it. That is the card reinstalled. So now we can plug back in our HDMI cable or whatever your display type is, and we're gonna leave our LAN cable still disconnected. Obviously Wi-Fi goes for the same. So I plug in the HDMI cable first, turn back on the power, and we can boot back up the PC. Okay, so now we've got our PC back up and running and you should find that your display mode is uh, horrendous and you might get a connection error, so that sort of thing for Steam and other kinds of programs. So just click on quit. So next thing to do is to go ahead now and reinstall our graphics drivers. So if we click on Explorer, go into Downloads and we can choose our installation. So obviously if you're installing an NVIDIA card, choose your NVIDIA driver. If you're installing an AMD card, then choose the appropriate software. So we're gonna go ahead and install the NVIDIA driver. So we'll just double click on the driver and it'll say that smart screen cannot be reached at this moment because you are not connected to the internet, so it can't check the file. So we're just gonna click on run to run anyway. And then it'll say, do you want to make changes to your device, etc., with the user account control and just click on yes. And you can specify what the folder where you want them saved. I generally would go with the, uh, the one it recommends and click okay. And then we'll just wait for the files to be extracted. We'll fast forward through this just to save a little bit of time. Okay, so now we're at the point where we have to have some user intervention. So this is the graphics driver. Again, this is the latest one for the particular version. You can at this point choose just the graphics driver on its own, or you can have the graphics driver and the GeForce Experience. If you've been experiencing problems with the GeForce Experience previously, or you have no interest in installing that, then you can just go ahead and choose the graphics driver uh, the choice is pretty much yours. The graphics driver is the important one. So I don't actually want the GeForce Experience. So I'm gonna go with the graphics driver alone and then click on agree and continue. At this point, again, you can do the express installation or you can do a custom. So in the custom, if you click on next, you get options of what can and cannot be installed. So graphics driver is done automatically. Your HD audio driver for the USB audio GeForce Experience, as you can see, has not been included. You can, if you want to change the option, you can put a tick in there and actually add it back in if you want to, or go backwards and do it that way. Physx system software, I would always recommend installing that. It's always useful to have that. Some games do rely on it, and obviously USB Type-C driver for VR, etc. if your graphics card supports it. Alternatively, I say you can go back and do Express. So let's we'll go ahead and do an Express. Okay, your choice entirely. So now go through the preparing to install. A lot of people at this point is where you start getting issues saying that the installer cannot be installed or whatever the case may be. This is normally because you haven't cleaned out the previous drivers, which is why DDU is such an important thing to do when changing graphics cards. I can see already loads of you in the comment section are gonna put in, well, I've just swapped over my graphics card and it works absolutely fine. Excellent. That is the ultimate thing that we want happening. But for a lot of people, they do experience issues. The code 43 or 153, various different things. Error 183 is another one. GPU driver where it's not detected. Generally, these can be resolved by just having a quick go on DDU and cleaning out the system. So this is going through now installing the graphics driver and the software. 
and we'll fast forward through this for the sake of saving time. You may actually see, before we fast forward it, you may actually see at this point when you're doing this yourself that your display mode will change from the Windows display driver and the default resolution. And yeah, bang on cue, there we go. So we've uh, we've now got our resolution back and it's pretty much got to the end. So maybe we won't fast forward through it. That was pretty quick. So at this point now, it says the NVIDIA installer has finished and you can just click on close and close any open windows and you should be pretty much ready to go. If you right click on your desktop, you should find that the NVIDIA control panel is now installed and you will probably find that there's an NVIDIA logo at the bottom in the taskbar, which you can close if you want to. But essentially, that is it. Our graphics are now installed. We didn't throw up any errors and we've now got our resolution back. Good work. So there we go. We've uh, finished the installation. We've removed the existing AMD drivers to prevent any kind of errors or issues with the system. I generally recommend doing this. If ever you're changing a graphics card, it's really worth doing it. Obviously, if you're not having any problems and your system works absolutely fine, no worries, absolutely fine. But if you are having issues or experiencing problems with system maybe crashing, locking up, etc., or like in our instance, you're just changing a graphics card for a different model, it's definitely worth running DDU just to clean the system out. So there we go, all up and running, all working well, and now we just gotta play some games and do some benchmarks. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.